Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? This is Professor Pablo with Learn Spanish Rápido with Professor Pablo. Our lesson today are adjectives with the verb ser. We already know that there are two ways to say to be in Spanish. There's ser and there is estar. We've already, already studied estar. Estoy, estás, está, estamos, están. Those adjectives are temporary feelings like emotions, like I'm tired, estoy cansado, mom is busy, mamá está ocupada, uh, the paper is wet, el papel está mojado, temporary conditions, things that you don't necessarily go to bed with and wake up with the next day, they're temporary, estar plus adjective. Also estar plus adjective, we use estar to say where people are located. Papá está en el trabajo. Dad is at work. Mamá está en la casa. The kids are in school. Los niños están en la escuela. So that's the verb estar. Now we're taking a group of adjectives that characteristically are used with the verb ser, to be. Now adjectives used with ser, these are characteristics, <clears throat> not temporary feelings, right? These are things that you go to bed with, and you wake up with the next day. Like if I want to say, he's a very interesting person, es una persona muy interesante. He's just not interesting one day, that's a characteristic. And so we use the verb ser for permanent characteristics. When we're describing characteristics of people and monuments and statues and cities, for example, Paris is a beautiful city. Paris es una ciudad Bellissima, gorgeous Paris, right? Texas is a very big state. Texas es un estado muy grande. So adjectives we use with ser when we're talking about characteristics of a person, place, or a thing. Let's take a look at our clusters. We have divertido, fun, emocionante, exciting. Interesante, interesting. Look at all these cognates. Interesante, necesario, imposible, impossible. Valioso, valuable. Extraño, strange, odd. Rápido, we know that. Learn Spanish, rápido, fast. Despacio, slow. Importante, there's another cognate. What is a cognate? Words that are spelled about the same or identically the same, but they have the, and they have the same meaning. That's called a cognate, right? I'll give you a false cognate. You want a false cognate? Okay. Embarrassed in English. Well, the word embarazada in Spanish does not mean embarrassed. The word for embarrassed is avergonzado or avergonzada. But students, when they learn, they make that that near fatal mistake of saying, Ay, estoy embarazada. Embarazada means pregnant. Okay? Don't make that mistake. So, cognates are words that are spelled basically the same and have the same meaning. A false cognate, like embarazada and embarrassed, are words that are spelled very similarly but have a different meaning. Okay? Let's go on here. Um... Increíble, incredible, posible, possible, difícil is hard, difficult, duro is hard or difficult, and duro can also be hard, like this, hard, the surface is hard, duro. Fácil, easy. Nuevo, new, like Nueva York, New York, Nueva Jersey, but Nuevo Mexico, new. Aburrido is boring. Now, aburrido with the verb estar means to be bored, like Susana está aburrida, she's bored. If you want to say something is boring, just, in, just generically, es aburrido, it's boring, es aburrido. Remember, we talked about you don't want to be bored in life. There are so many things to learn, to explore, to listen to, to see, to hear, to experience. There's no time to be bored, ladies and gentlemen. The only time you should be bored, if you're a plank of wood. Do you get it? Okay, seguro, safe or sure. Peligroso, peril, dangerous. Peligroso, dangerous. 
Come up here to our next cluster. Malo is bad. Bueno is good. Moderno, cognate, modern. Antiguo, basically a cognate. It means ancient, very old. Asi, asi. That's not actually an, a, uh, an adjective. It's an adverb, but asi, asi means so, so. You know, in English we say, eh, it's so, so. Es asi, asi. Normal means normal. Maravilloso, marvelous. I had a student, and her first name was Mara, M-A-R-A. -A. Doesn't, it doesn't make any difference what her last name was. She took a trip to Spain, right, to visit some family. Had, had never been to Spain before. And I said, when you go over there and meet people, and they ask you what your name is, Mara, this is what you need to tell them. When they ask you your name, you say Mara. And if they ask you your last name, you go like this. Maravilloso. Get it? Mara. Maravilloso. She had a lot of fun with that in Spain. Yo quiero ir a España para conocer a la gente y conocer la cultura. I want to go to Spain. Yo quiero ir a España. Remember we had para, to, para conocer a la gente, to get to know the people, y también, and also conocer la cultura. España es increíble. España, ¿dónde está? Aquí está. Increíble. París es increíble. Roma, you want to talk about Rome? How about Croatia? Increíble. Antiguo, así, así. Normal, maravilloso. Fantástico. Fantastic. Fantástico. They say the NBA in the United States, the National Basketball Association, they say the NBA is fan, because the fans, los fanáticos aficionados, fans, is fantastic. It's a play on the word fan, being a fan of the team, of the sport. La NBA es fantástico. And fastidioso, annoying, bothersome, fastidioso, like buggy, Some, something, someone that bugs you, right? It's, fast, it's muy fastidioso, annoying. All right, those are the clusters, los grupos de hoy, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Verdad? Okay, now let's take a look at the verb ser. Here we go, baby. Ser is one of the big boys, one of the top 10 verbs in Spanish in terms of usage and importance. You're looking at him right here. This is John Wayne right here. Ser. All right. In the present tense, it is es. They are would be son. Era, it was. Eran, they were. If you're reminiscing and you're talking about something, you're going to go with era and eran. Something it was or it, it was or they were in the past, like all the time, day in and day out. It'd be era or eran. Fue or fueron would be it was or they were, like a one-time thing. Like um, you went to go see uh, the paintings in the Louvre, right, in France, in Paris. And you say, it was incredible. Fue increíble. I get goosebumps thinking about France. I just love that country. Fue Increíble. Je parle un petit de français seulement. Je m'appelle Paul. Je suis américain. J'habite dans le euh, dans dans États-Unis. Les États-Unis. I speak very little French. I took it for one quarter in college, but a lot of similarities with Spanish. Je m'appelle. Yo me llamo Pablo. Je m'appelle Paul. Uh huh. Je faim. Tengo hambre. Je soif. Tengo sed. Je somme. Tengo sueño. Oh my gosh, that's another great language. That's another day. Okay, let's get back here. Ba ser, it is going to be. This is our buddy right here. Ira plus infinitive. That's way up there on the scale. It's going to be, or they are going to be. Ban a ser. Here, será, it will be. Lo que será, será. Or they will be seran. Seria, it would be. I'm getting real excited because I'm going to drop a bomb on you. Not a bomb, but I'm going to tell you something here. Seria, it would be. It would be interesting. Seria, tenemos interesante aquí? 
Interes ¿Dónde está interesante? Aquí está. Sería interesante. It would be really interesting. Sería muy interesante. Ha sido. It has been. What do we know about the H, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, in Spanish is damas y caballeros. Now here's another thing. Caballos or horses, for Pete's sake, don't say damas y caballos. You go to speak to a group of people in Spanish and you want to address them at the beginning. Hola, ¿qué tal? Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen. Don't pull off the damas y caballos. Oh my gosh, they'll be laughing, they'll be splitting the gut. Okay, this is what I want to drop on you guys right now. Literally, I got goosebumps. I've been telling you this forever. The N factor. You think I'm crazy, you think I'm nuts. There it tips, tricks, and tools. I know how to teach Spanish. I know all the ins and outs about Spanish, and I'm passing them on to you. When I say the N factor, I'm trying to drill it in here, the language learning module, that anytime you're talking about they, the verb is always going to end in the letter N. That's what we call the N factor. I don't care what tense you're in. Isn't this beautiful? It's always going to end in N. If you're, look, fueron, even though it's not just adding an N to bon and serán, you're taking it a whole new word, but it ends in N. So remember, any verb that ends in N, you're either talking about they or ustedes, you, plural. All right. Are you ready to jump on the bike and go for a ride? Let's go for a test ride and see how you're doing. All righty? Let's start off with S. It's interesting. interesting. Es interesante. It's impossible. Es imposible. It's very valuable. Es muy valioso. If you want to say an education is very valuable. Well, we know una educación, all words that end in C-I-O-N or C-I-O-N-E-S, they're feminine. So it's una educación. If I want to say an education is valuable, I would have to say una educación es valiosa. I'm not putting slash a, slash os, slash as. Those are training wheels. We're beyond that. We know how to ride the bike. I ask you if you want to get on the bike and go for a ride. No training wheels. We know how to make adjectives plural. If you want to make a word plural that ends in a vowel, you just add S. Divertidos, emocionantes, interesantes, necesarios. But if I want to say an education is necessary, we know that adjectives that end in O are good for a guy or something masculine. And we know if you're talking about a girl or something feminine, that you got to roll the O out and put the A in there. An education is necessary. Una educación es necesaria. Es necesaria. Okay? Let's go here. Uh, let's take a look at rápido. Uh, rápido. The car is really fast. El carro es muy rápido. Buses are slow. All right, here we go. Let's go with son, because it's they, right? N factor. <laughs> I bet some of you watching this are saying, Pablo, we get it, the N factor. Okay, buses are slow. I'd go with los autobuses. They are son. Despacio, no way. I've got to put an S on the end. Los autobuses son despacios, okay? Let's go. The lesson is important. La lección es importante. How about the lesson was important, like one time, like the lesson from last night. La lección fue, fue importante. Let's take incredible. How about it will be incredible? Será increíble. Let's say there are two twins, like the Cavender twins, the basketball players, and you want to say if they go into the Women's National Basketball Association, they will be incredible. Well, we have to go plural. We would say serán with the N, serán increíbles, serán increíbles. You're talking about an, an algebra class, trigonometry class, right? Quantum physics. It will be hard. Será Difícil. Será muy difícil. 
Some people might even say, Será, where are we here? Imposible, donde estas imposible? Imposible, será imposible. No way, nothing is impossible. Okay, let's take a look at uh, fácil. It will be easy, será fácil. It would be easy, sería fácil. It has been, it has been, ha sido fácil. If I want to say they have been easy, let's say the lessons, the last lessons here have been easy, okay? The N factor, put the N on here, on sido, you don't change the verb. On sido, how do you make a word that ends in a consonant, plural? ES, you add ES, so on sido faciles. Hopefully you guys now, all these things that you've learned and they're in the language learning module, Hopefully, they're just like molecules popping up and down and bouncing around everywhere because you have this knowledge already input. Let's say um, they were necessary. Fueron necesarios. Let's say there was, uh, unfortunately, an accident and they had to use the jaws of life and other tools to extract the live survivor. And you want to say they were necessary. One time, fueron necesarios. But let's say there were tools that you had to use all the time in the past, right? You would say eran, eran necesarios. It will be new. Será nuevo. It's going to be new. Va a ser nuevo. How about seguro? Es seguro. It's safe. Es seguro. No se preocupe. Don't worry. Así, así, it's going to be so-so. Va a ser así, así. Así, así. If you want to say they're going to be really good, we want to get the end factor rolling. Take this end. Right there. Van a ser... Van a ser buenos. They're going to be really good. Van a ser muy buenos. It's going to be important. Va a ser importante. It is going to be fun. We say that all the time. Come on. Va a ser divertido. Va a ser divertido. It's going to be exciting. Va a ser emocionante. Let's go over our clusters again. Fun. Exciting. Interesting. Necessary. Impossible. Valuable. Strange. Stranger things. What a great show. Rápido, fast. Despacio, slow. Important, incredible, possible, hard or difficult, both of them. Easy, new, boring, boring, aburrido. Seguro, safe. Peligroso, dangerous. Malo, bad, bueno, good. Moderno, modern, antiguo, ancient, así, así, so, so, normal, normal, maravilloso, marvelous, wonderful, fantástico, fantastic, fastidioso, annoying, come on, annoying, ese muchacho, ay, Dios mío, es fastidioso, traveling, is incredible. El viajar es increíble. So here's some tips, tricks, and tools to learn something new. And we'll be coming back upon those as well. And you notice that when we make examples of sentences, we end up picking up so many things that we've done before. Like the floor that I'm standing on is checkerboard. You probably can't see it, but it's checkerboard. And each little square represents a lesson that we've had. And, and they're all right here within my sight, and that's the way the brain is. They're all there at your disposition to grab and use at any time that you want. And that's what a language is. A language isn't always talk in one tense or another tense. No, you mix all the time, everything that you know. So you're doing great, keep it up. Hopefully you like Sarah plus adjectives one. There are many more adjectives that we'll deal with. We'll start, start getting into some adjectives dealing with description of people in terms of physical description and description of personality. That's coming up pretty soon as well. Okay, that's it. Hasta la próxima lección. Hasta pronto. 
colorín, colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Adiós.